Hello and welcome to Perspectives. Joining me today is a very special guest, Ambassador Marcin Bozatsky. He is the Ambassador of Poland to Canada and he's here to talk to us about World Youth Day coming up very shortly, just around the corner. Thank you for being here with us. Thank you very much for, for inviting me, Alicia. Now, I think this is the first time I've interviewed a, a foreign diplomat who's actually, who can actually say they have been a World Youth Day pilgrim. You have attended World Youth Day. Tell us about that experience. It was 1991. I was 21 at that time. And uh, that was in Częstochowa in Poland, so I was not abroad. I was traveling from my home city of Poznań in western Poland to Częstochowa, maybe 250 kilometers. So not that a big trip, but uh, it was, of course, with the late great Pope John Paul II. Right. who was really a hero of my youth um, and it was it was amazing experience spiritual and uh, to meet so many people of different uh, uh, nations cultures uh, races uh, all together close to two million of them it was it was it was really amazing and it was also very special moment because Poland just toppled down communism two years before and that was uh, one of the first big events in newly independent and democratic Poland. What is the significance of this World Youth Day as opposed to the Czestokoła World Youth Day for Poland? Of course it's uncomparable because uh, you have uh, different time, different generation, different uh, Pope. Yes, very different. Um, <laughs> even different venue, as you mentioned. Um, but I think those of you who will be coming will witness the same level of hospitality and uh, uh, warmth of, of Polish people and many of the pilgrims will be staying at uh, uh, other people's uh, Polish uh, people houses. It's good to to get to know other cultures, although of course Polish culture is not that different from Canadian culture. Do not expect a cultural shock okay. when you come to Poland. Uh, but of course this is, this is different, Poland is different. Poland is uh, a country which just celebrated 1050 years of its history, of its baptism wow. and its history at the same time as a state, um, while Canada will be celebrating 100, 150. We just celebrated 149, uh, yes. Next year. Uh, so the, the impact of uh, history and old culture, in, in terms of architecture and uh, of, uh, of history, music even, is, is of course much bigger than in new countries yes. like Canada uh, and I think you will enjoy it. In today's global climate it's very different from the World Youth Day you attended, even from the World Youth Days I've attended um, and I'm sure there are many parents of pilgrims watching who are very concerned about the safety of the young people, the hundreds of thousands of young people. What can you say to those parents who are have agreed to let their children go to World Youth Day and are now concerned about the possibilities I can assure you that Polish security services, in cooperation with other security services um, around the world, are working uh, at their best level to, to secure uh, Krakow and other places where those hundreds of thousands and maybe millions, we expect actually closer to a million and a half, maybe, maybe even two million uh, pilgrims uh, from all around the world to come. And uh, we've been, for example, scrutinized those who uh, uh, made their applications, uh, our consular services, including here in Toronto and, uh, and Ottawa, are working. So uh, we, we are doing everything which is possible for those uh, great days at the end of July to, to move smoothly and uh, safely. Wonderful. Thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you very much. And thank you for watching. And if you're watching on our television network, stay tuned for the rest of our broadcast schedule.